What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Velocity in Vegas Pro 14. Okay, so as you can see I am in Vegas Pro 14 now and all I've done is dragged in a video clip along with some music and it's going to be the same video you saw at the start along with the same music. Now the music is Figure the Graveyard Dr. Ozzy Remix and what you want to do when you insert your video, which is very important, right click it, select properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Make sure you do that. Otherwise, when you come to the playback or render it out, it's going to be ghosting. Now you'll also notice these orange lines here. These orange lines are there because I have laid them down. They're known as markers and the way you lay them down, you just select an area and press M on your keyboard to lay them down. And what you will need to do as well, if you're going to sync it up with a beat, every time there's like a drop, you're going to press M on your keyboard just to lay it out so that it makes it very easy when you come to sync in it. So I'm going to play this for you now and watch where the orange markers are and listen to the music at the same time. So this is what you need to do as well. So that is it. Uh, the music is good, the video is good, but obviously it doesn't look the best because it's not synced up. So what we're going to do, we need to open up Velocity. So we're going to right click our video, we're going to come to Insert and Remove Envelope and select Velocity. Now, if you're on Vegas Pro 13 and below, you'll be able to put this all the way up. The reason why I'm not going to do that is because I'm on Vegas Pro 14 and the very top is 1000%. On Vegas Pro 13 and below, the maximum is 300. So put it all the way to the top if you're not on Vegas Pro 14. And I'm going to look to get around 300 or just below 300 like that because it's pretty hard to get it precise. We're going to come across uh, just a little bit. We're going to double click and we're going to right click this and select set to normal velocity. Then we're going to come across again. We're just going to double click here. And I'm actually going to slow this one down a bit to 33%. I'm then going to come across to where the B is, double click it. And I'm going to simply pull the velocity up to the point where we get the shot, which is right there. So right there. And then I'm going to come across a bit more. Simply double click, right click and set to normal velocity. Then I'm going to do the same again to where the next shot is. As you can see the next shot is right here. So we're going to double click here again. Again I'm going to slow it down so it gives it a bit more slow mo. Then I'm going to double click here. And then right on the beat I'm going to speed it up again to the part where we get the shot. Which is right there. Then simply double click in here, slowing it down back to right click and set to normal velocity. Then we come across again, just going to double click here. As you can see we need to slow it down now because the next beat is up here and of course we want all the shots to be online with the beat. So the beat is all the way up here and we already took the shot around there. So we simply need to slow this down again, like so. And then we can simply come to the beat, double click, speed it up a bit, like so. Double click here, slow it back down. And then once we get to this person, I'm going to double click here, double click on the beat again, and speed it up till we get the shot, which is right there. Then I'm going to double click again and slow this back down. I'm actually going to right click and set this back to normal velocity and you can tell it's actually very repetitive. A lot of it is going to be the same. So yeah, that's all you really need to do. So I'm going to play this through now and this is what we have so far. As you can see, that was pretty fast on one shot there. Uh, we sync this part up, I believe. Yep, we sync this part up. But this guy here was straight there, so we need to slow this part down. So we're simply going to come here, double click right next to it, and slow it down a lot. 14% maybe. And then we're going to come across again. As you can see, we're about to shoot this guy. So we're going to double click right on the beat drop, speed it up to the point where we just hit him. 
which is right there. And then we simply double click here, right click, let's set this back to normal velocity. And then we come across, and I believe there's no more shots after that. So let's see how this turned out. I can't promise it's going to be the best because it's lagging on my part, but let's see. Okay, so uh, that's how I wanted it, but the last shot seems pretty quick. So uh, I'm gonna slow it down a bit more. So I'm simply gonna bring this across more and I'm gonna slow it down more. 33% seems to be good. And then right there, once we shoot him, we're gonna bring that up and then it should come back down. I'm actually gonna put this in slow motion, so 33% again. And then right here, where the beat drops again, I'm going to right click it and select set to normal velocity so it goes back to the normal speed. So now I'm going to play this through for you again. And that is it. So that's the basics of how to use velocity. As you can see, it was pretty synced up as well. Um, and you can tell by what I mean by synced up, when the music had a hard hit, the shot also hit as well. And now I'm going to be showing you another thing uh, with sniper effects. So instead of using the game audio, which most people don't do or most editors don't do, we're going to mute it by pressing the M here. And as you can see, I have a sniper rifle sound effect. I'm going to drag and drop this in. A link to this will be in the description. I'm just going to shorten this down and I'm also going to shorten this end down and this is going to replace our normal sniper effect so as you can see this is currently on minus 12 so we're going to bring this up so we can hear it now that doesn't sound the best because it's just a normal sniper bullet so I actually have some effects that's pretty good so we're going to select this button here and we're going to add track EQ and select OK now I already have a preset for this, but you're going to copy this as well. So I've called this Sniper Boom. And for number one, just copy down these settings here. So pause the video and copy them down. For number two, these settings here. For number three, it's these settings. And then number four, it's these settings. And then to save it as a preset so you won't need to remember all these settings again, come to where it says Preset, call it what you want to, and select this Save Preset button. Now, if I just play this through again, you're going to notice that this is going to sound a lot different. As you can tell, it's more bassy, and this is where we need to turn the gain down over here. Now, I recommend about minus 10, so now I'll play this through again. As you can see, it's really a deep hit in bass. And then, to simply copy it to all the other ones, we're going to press Control c and we're going to find to where we hit the next guy, which is right here. And then press Control V. And of course, we need to bring this back so it is synced up. And we're simply going to just keep pasting it on all the times we hit uh, one of the people. And you won't need to keep adding the setting because we've already copied it once from the original one. So we already have all the settings saved onto this clip here. Okay, so I've done it and mine looks like that. You'll notice I've put it on different audio tracks each time and the reason for that is because it's going to start overlapping on each other. So I do recommend having it on different audio tracks. It just makes your uh, projects look a bit more messy but that's okay. And um, yeah, so now we're going to play this through for the final time. It should be all synced up. The sniper shot should be synced up as well. And let's play. And just like that, it is done. As you can tell, using Velocity for edits does help a lot. Um, once you, well, If you're new at this, it will take some time getting used to it. But um, I've been doing this for about four hours or something. And you can see I'm going through it pretty quick now. And I've never used Velocity before until today. So it's pretty simple to do. And yeah, anyone can do it as well. One more thing before I forget, you'll notice in my project here, I added black bars. 
You don't want to add black bars using the event pan and crop because it makes the video smaller. Actually just drag and drop this image on, a download link to this will be in the description as well, and extend this out, and this gives us black bars. Now for whatever reason, if the black bars are too big and you don't like them, come to the event pan and crop on the black bars image. Make sure size about center is checked, also make sure lock aspect ratio is checked, and simply bring this in from the bottom. As you'll see, you can now customize how thick the black bars will be. But that is it. That is how simple it is to use Velocity, and that is how you sync up music with Velocity as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.